Hi everyone, welcome to Exam Ignite. I'm starting a new series of video exam preparation with module wise revision and an important questions made simple. Today we begin with the biology for engineers, module one, fourth semester 2022 scheme. I'll be posting one module every day covering the questions from the model question paper one, model question paper two, June, July question papers, Jan, December question papers and more. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get started with the module one that is introduction to biology. Here are the key concepts that we have to focus on. The cell, basic unit of life, the structure and function of cell it is asked in the model question paper one and model question paper two. Then plant cell was asked in Jan 2025 paper and animal cell and plant cell differences were asked in model question paper one and July 2024 paper. Prokaryotic and eukaryotic difference was asked in July 2024 paper. Stem cells and its application was asked in the model question paper 1 and Jan 2025. Biomolecules, here we are having the properties and functions. So that was asked in the July 24 and July 23. Carbohydrates was specifically asked in Jan 24. Nucleic acid was asked in model question paper 1, 2 and Jan 25. Proteins was asked in model question paper 2. Lipids was asked in the biodiesel, uh, focusing on the biodiesel in the model question paper 2. Importance of some special molecules, then biomolecules. Enzymes, here we are having classification with one each example that you have to classify the enzymes and properties and functions you have to mention. That was asked, properties and functions was asked in Jan 25 and July 24. Vitamins was in Jan 25 and hormones was asked in Jan 25 separately. Now, firstly, cell. Cell, it's a basic unit of life, structure and functional unit of life. Robert Hooke discovered it. Cell is unicellular. Example is amoeba. Multicellular, we are humans. Cell structure. First thing, cell wall. Cell wall, it is made up of cellulose plus hemicellulose plus pectin. Cell wall is only found in the plant cells. Cell wall, it protects the plasma membrane and its internal components. Firstly, if they ask you about the cell organelles, you have to write this uh, diagram where this shows all the cell organelles present in a cell. Cell membrane or the plasma membrane, it covers all the internal components of the cell. Semi-permeable, it's a semi-permeable membrane that is, it allows only a few uh, particles particles to pass through it. It encloses the organelles presence inside the cell. Next. Cell organelles, they have a specific function. Some of the cell organelles are endoplasmic reticulum. It can, it can be rough and smooth. Golgi apparatus and mitochondria. Cytoplasm, it is a site of the reaction where reactions takes place. It is a jelly-like substance and it contains all the organelles. Nucleus, it contains the DNA and nucleus is responsible for the growth, division and maturation and death of a cell. Nucleus is covered by a nuclear envelope. This is what you have to answer if they give you the question as uh, what is the right the cell structure or explain the cell organelles. Okay, next functions of cell. Function, it provides structure and shape to a cell. Uh, it facilitates the growth that is via mitosis. Then a transport of substances that is active substances like ions or molecules, passive substances like oxygen and carbon dioxide. And also nutrition intake is done by removing the waste. Energy production is done by the photosynthesis in the plants and cellular respiration in the animals. Reproduction is of two types. One is mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is an asexual reproduction which uh, gives out an identical cells. And meiosis is a sexual reproduction where we get it different cells. Next comes up. Differentiate between the plant cell and animal cell. Firstly, write the diagram where uh, you will show all the organelles. Now, Main difference is cell wall. We have cell wall present that is made up of cellulose and lignin in plant cell. But in an animal cell, it is absent. Cell membrane is present here it, uh, in the both that is semi-permeable. Nucleus is present in the both which controls the activity. Plastids are present only in the plant cells that is in the form of chloroplast. But they are absent in the animal cell. Vacuum, this is very large and it is centrally placed here. But here it is small and it is scattered with C here. Now, lysosome. There are very rare lysosomes present in the plant cell. But in the animal cell, they are prominent. 
Golgi apparatus, they are present in both. Endoplasmic reticulum are present in both. Mitochondria is present in both. Shape, this has a regular shape like rectangle or you can say some regular shapes. Here it is irregular, that is round shaped. Centrioles are absent in the plant cell. They are only present in the animal cell. They help in the cell division. Plasmodesmata, it is cell to cell communication is done. That is present in the plant cell, but it is absent in the animal cell. Prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Here, first feature is nucleus. It is absent. Only nucleoid region is present. But here it is present with a membrane-bound nucleus in the eukaryotic. Membrane-bound organelles are absent here, but we have here organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi operators, lysosomes. DNA structure is circular here. Here it is linear. Cell size is small, that is 0 0.1 to 5 micrometer. Here it is large, that is 10 to 100 micrometer. Example are bacteria and archaea, protozoa, fungi, plants and animals in eukaryotic. Cell division is done by binary fission. In the animals, it is done by mitosis or meiosis. Complexity is simple in the plants, uh, sorry, in the prokaryotic cell, in the complex in the eukaryotic cell. Ribosomes are of 70S type, here it is 80S type. Locomotion, here there are flagellas, or you can say pili. Here, ciliums and flagella are present. Cellular activity is, this is unicellular and this is multicellular. This is a prokaryotic cell and this is a eukaryotic cell. You have to write the diagrams in the biology to score. Stem cells. Ability to develop into different types of cells is called as stem cells. They help in repair damaged tissues and healing potential. They have healing potential. The treatments which we use uh, stem cells are some paralysis and Alzheimer's. We use stem cells. This is a stem cell, stem cell which can be converted into liver cell, intestinal cells, blood cell, blood vessels, nerve cells, blood cells and uh, even muscle cells. Applications of the stem cells. Cardiovascular disease treatment. This is used to create a functional blood vessels in the mice and implemented, implanted vessels formed network within two weeks. Tissue generation, it can help in specific growth of the tissues or organs. It is used in the kidney or liver transplants. Brain disease treatment, that is Parkinson's and Alzheimer's treatment by replacing the damaged brain cells. Blood disease treatment, that is blood cancer, sickle cell anemia and immunodeficiency disorders can also be done. Uh, next, these pro produce RBCs and WBCs. Cosmetics and anti-aging anti treatments, we use stem cells. That is for the skin rejuvenation, hair growth, appearance enhancement, we use stem cells. These are some applications of the stem cells. Next, biomolecules. Biomolecules first, we'll start with the carbohydrates. This is an essential macronutrient of energy production. Uh, carbon plus hydrogen plus oxygen molecules form the carbohydrates. We have three categories. One is sugar, starch and fibers. Properties of carbohydrates, chemical structure, it is simple sugar that is monosaccharides or you can say large molecules that is polysaccharides. Solubility, it is soluble in water and easily digested. Energy density is 4 calorie per gram that is one primarily energy, this is the primary energy source for our body. Color and taste, that is vary in color that is we have white sugar, we have brown rice, then taste is this is sweet and we have starch. Functions, energy production, glucose, preferred energy source for the brain and muscles. So we need this for the energy production. Energy storage is stored as a glycogen in where? In the livers and muscles. Structure and support, that is fibers, they help in the support in the plant cells. They have carbohydrates help in the support in plant cells and add a bulk to our food. Now, blood sugar regulation, these control the glucose that released into the bloodstream. Digestive health, that is aids in the bowel movement and supports the gut health. Weight management, feeling of fullness can uh, reduce the overeating. So, carbohydrate help in the reducing weight. Carbohydrates, we are of two types, one is simple and complex. Monosaccharides, glucose, fructose and galactose, disaccharides, maltose, lactose and sucrose. Complex, we are having polysaccharides that is starch, fiber and glycogen. Proteins. Next, 
Micro molecules are made up of amino acids are called proteins. Building block of our life. Properties are they are colorless and tasteless and they are homogeneous and crystalline. Spherical to long fibrous structures are, uh, are seen. Colloidal property that is they are having the Tyndall effect. Then atmospheric nature is acidic and basic. Denaturation is disruption of secondary and tertiary structure. That is, this leads to the loss of the biological activity and that is what called as coagulation. Function, structural support that is collagen in, uh, is present in the connective tissue which is of protein. Enzymatic action is we are having amylase and protease. Transport the molecules that is hemoglobin carries the oxygen. Actin and myosin they enable muscle movement. Hormonal regulation that is insulin and growth hormones. Immune response that is in antibodies and proteins. So this is a primary structure and these are all the amino acids. That forms the alpha helix which is the secondary structure alpha and beta sheets. Then uh, this is the tertiary structure where is a 3D folding and this is a quaternary structure. Nucleic acid. These are the macromolecules that store and transmit a genetic information. Nucleic acid are of nucleo nucleotides. They are made up of nucleotides. Nucleotides are made up of nitrogen plus base plus pentose sugar plus phosphate group. Nucleic acid are of again DNA and RNA. Di deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid. This is the structure. Next, adenine and guanine are the substituted purines and two heterocyclic rings. Uh, urine, thymine and cytosin are the substitution pyrimidines and having one heterocyclic rings. DNA has eight, uh, ATGC has their basis. RNA has AUGC as their basis. What are the functions of this nucleic acid? Firstly, info, information storage. That is, DNA stores the genetic instruction and the protein synthesis. Secondly, genetic transmission that is DNA is replicated cell division inheritance. Protein synthesis that is transcription and translation occurs. Energy transfer in the form of ATP. Immune response this produces the antiviral properties. Lipids, hydrophobic molecules, fats, oils and waxes. Uh, these are soluble in the organic solvents and they are insoluble in the water. Function is hydrophobic barriers, energy storage, these are triglycerides, store long-term energy, structural role is they transport, they help in the transportation, insulation and protection, they are present in the adipose tissue, hormone synthesis, steroid, well, steroids, that is uh, hormones like estrogen, testosterone, vitamin transport, that is ADEK vitamins, then waterproofing, this help in the prevent the dehydration of the feathers in the birds. Lipids properties are, they are liquid or solid. They have high energy content. Saturated fats uh, are in the form of solids. Unsaturated fats are in the form of liquids. Colorless, odorless and tasteless. Example is what uh, oil. This is the structure. This is an extracellular and intracellular part. These are uh, the heads that is hydrophobic head hi, sorry hydrophilic head and these are the tails that is hydrophobic tail and this is a phospholipid bilayer enzymes enzymes are actually this is the active site and this is a substrate substrate enters to the active site of the enzyme okay this is an enzyme now here there is a complex formed here you can see the enzyme changes the shape of slightly as the substrate binds, it gets modified. Now the enzyme or the product complex, that is we get two things. One we get products, two products. Products leave the active site of the enzyme. What are the properties? Specificity and catalytic property is they are, they increase the rate of the reaction. Efficiency is enzyme is not consumed in the reaction, hence it can be reused again and again. So this helps in the rapid process of the reaction. Optimal condition is the, it depends on the pH and the temperature. Function, metabolism, carbohydrates, lipids and uh, amino acids. Then digestion, 
that is they break down the nutrients dna replication and repair dna polymerase they help in that detoxification is done by the enzymes immune response is also done by the enzymes biotechnology that is used in the food processing dna technology classification of the enzymes we are having four different sorry we are having six types that is oxidoreductase here catalyzes the redox reaction glucose oxidase transferase transfer functional group sulfur transferase hydroxylase break bonds via hydrolysis peptidase ligases that is um, positive or negative groups to form the double bonds without hydrolysis aminolase then isomerase rearrange the atoms example is glucose isomerase ligases is joined two molecules using the atp that is dna ligase vitamins and minerals i have differentiated and written it vitamins you just learn i have written each example for each vitamin to remember properties we are having this is an organic in nature that is carbon with hydrogen forms along with oxygen or nitrogen or sulfur forms the vitamin essentially it is required because it cannot be synthesized inside our body it has to be taken small quantity that is micronutrient chemical structure is uh, b complex and c these are all the water soluble vitamins a d e and k vitamins are fat soluble they act as coenzymes also the functions of vitamins and their antioxidants that is vitamin c and e energy metabolism cell function and growth bone health by vitamin d blood clotting by vitamin k immune function by vitamin a c d and b vision by vitamin a neural health by vitamin b skin and hair by vitamin a c and e hormone so basically this is a circulating bread okay this is a capillary this is what our hormone these are the target cells when the receptors are released when the hormone is released it gets to only the targeted cells non targeted cells and they do not get the receptors see hormones are the chemical messengers produced by the glands and transported in the body fluids to regulate the physiological and the behavior chemical nature is they are peptides in the example insulin steroids in the cortisol and estrogen amino acid derivatives in the adrenaline fatty acid derivatives what are the features then these are target specific that is when what target is given that gets binded to that target cell zone now they are transported via blood then that they are duration specific function is they help in the reproduction and sexual development that is testosterone estrogen and progesterone stress response it's cortisol and adrenaline adrenalize hemostasis it regulates the blood pressure temperature and h2o balance mood regulation by serotonin and dopamine hormone immune function by cytokinesis thank you stay tuned to exam ignite to get a further handwritten notes